Hello, my name is Todor Plashko from MCAT Bulgaria and in the final fifth part of our lessons about tube and pipe designing in Autodesk Inventor we, we will talk about bill of materials that uh, we can create from, we can extract let's say from our design first of all we will correct some mistakes in our, in our design uh, because as you know Inventor and all the products like Inventor are, are uh, parametric products that <coughs> in which you can change everything very fast I will change this part here uh, it's, I will show you some trick how to do that very quick as you as you can see the the uh, <coughs> this uh, housing it's uh, not very properly uh, placed so just right click on it select the Parker May el elbow which is this elbow here and just change you can change of course the engagement uh, the, the engagement the engagement is uh, the two places or two points that this elbow is connected to the parts the one is with the, this housing the one is with the uh, with the part on the left so I change the one that is connecting with the housing or the elastic tube let's say okay the next thing I will do is just uh, change uh, mm, the profile here the uh, my frame I will change of course only the, the cutting no, no, nothing more I think that's the last uh, uh, the last extrusion first uh, I will uh, go to view tab visual style and select shaded with edges so I can see the edges of my um, of my frame of my profile here okay maybe it's the last extrusion yes you can select the extrusion and the uh, inventor will uh, offer you a f few uh, choices one of them is to um, edit the sketch or uh, to edit the feature or create another sketch of course so that's uh, that's all we have to do for uh, this frame just few minor uh, let's say mistakes that we've made of course uh, when you are designing when you are creating the main design the most important thing is to uh, uh, of course to create the base the, mo the main design and after that you can always correct the mistakes so uh, the next thing I will do is uh, I, will exp I will explain why what some of my um, uh, tubes are uh, will be in uh, their length will be in millimeters some of them will be in inches that that is based only on the style you have used for creating them uh, so if you want to work only in millimeters uh, you must create only uh, you m must create your own standard or use a standard that is, is in millimeters or yeah, of course uh, the other uh, way if you want to use the imperial uh, the imperial um, uh, standard uh, just se select or use or create a standard that is uh, in inches of course uh, for our uh, design as you saw in the uh, uh, last four uh, lessons we used both imperial and uh, metric uh, unit system so uh, all of them are um, so uh, you can you, you will see in the bill of materials that uh, they are po both present so always save save early save often control plus S is uh, the combination that will save um, as you know uh, uh, many uh, inventor does not have uh, let's say absolutely automatic um, save so control say uh, control S and save your um, <coughs> design alright I start a new uh, drawing I will um, <coughs> I will put a base projection of it let's say in um, 1 to 20 scale something like this I will choose uh, a custom view and place it somewhere as you know in cr creating drawings from uh, already created um, 
model is very easy in Inventor or products like this. Just put the base, the main uh, pro project view, and and then uh, move the cursor on the right or on the on uh, uh, <coughs> under uh, your or uh, under your base project. Okay. The next thing I will create an uh, isometry, of course, an isometric view of my uh, uh, of my drawing now of my model now I want to show you uh, one trick there is a uh, let's say a hidden uh, option in inventor that does that's the does not showing you um, uh, the threads the treats in your uh, in the assembly view when you create a drawing from an assembly uh, inventor automatically hides the treats in the drawing so I will show you how to show this. I will uh, make a, first. I, of course, I will make a holes with the treat because I don't have such a holes. But I will create one. Let's see, like this. Of course, it's not uh, necessary in this uh, design. It's just for the purpose of the example. So these are the uh, uh, holes with treat. And now, you, if you go to the drawing, as you can see, Inventor does not showing the treat. It's not showing the treat. So. Just double click on the view <coughs> or right click edit and go to display options, treat feature. As you can see there is a tick here which is not, it's not, uh, there isn't a tick. Put the tick and you, as you can see there is a treat here right now in the drawing of an assembly. I don't know why in Autodesk or Inventor doesn't, it's not showing automatically this but as you can see there is a workaround for showing such kind of trade and of course uh, this tree is uh, showed in the in the section also I, I'm just showing you that this section it's not uh, necessary to build, to build this section of course I, I'm just uh, for this example I'm showing that there is a tree alright so that's let's say something hidden here in inventor it's not very easy uh, because I have received a few questions about it. Okay, next thing, I will create a part list from this uh, from this uh, from this uh, design. Uh, one suggestion from me is when you are crea when you start creating drawings from your um, model, uh, leave the model open like this when. Uh, like uh, mine, uh, it's easier for inventor uh, to create uh, uh, drawings and of course bill of materials. All right, so my bill of material uh, it's too big for this drawing, so I will create another drawing here on the left. Click uh, right click on it on the um, empty space, new sheet, then go to this sheet, right click on it, edit sheet, and uh, put a portrait, let's say, or change the format. A3, A4, or whatever you want. Okay. Again, the same command part list, parts only. I'm using parts only because I want to see the length of my cubes. Here, as I told you, everything that's in, uh, in uh, millime uh, metric standard is in millimeters, and the other one is in uh, imperial. Of course, there is uh, one. Um, mm, there is one uh, the first point or the first item is Ramka which is not necessary in my case so go to the assembly right click on Ramka or the part you don't want to participate and select reference save of course go to bill of materials here manage bill of materials and renumber your renumber your uh, uh, your items here renumber just say start from one and of course increment is one that means there isn't as you can see rank in our uh, parts list and of course I have to start from one again and of course right now when I save yes you can see of course you can change something here and when you save it here the changes, of course, will be re represented in the drawing, in the view of materials, right here. 
so it's a it's a trick a, li a little trick you can use for um, uh, <clears throat> for uh, your uh, uh, bill of materials I have a lesson about bill of materials uh, I don't know which one something in, uh, somewhere in my channel so you can see more things here uh, I will show you a few more things here for this uh, particular part list uh, if you don't know what is the difference between part list and bill of material part list is a, is a bill of material which is placed in the drawing every uh, assembly has a bill of material but when you put this bill of material uh, graphically graphically on your drawing it becomes part list okay so I go to manage styles and standards I want to change a few the, na the name of the columns here item quantity part number and so on so I go to styles I go to part list is so right click on it and select new style just put some name let's say maybe it can be a company style let's say MCAT style or something like this let's say in our case new style alright new style cool uh, because I right click on the part list style I will use the same I will copy the settings of the options are that are already pre represented okay I will replace the, this part list style with my new style and purge the selected one so Inventor will only use the new style that I will create now uh, Right now, what I'm doing, of course, it's based on my, it's based on my um, experience working uh, in uh, uh, in the field of industry. Of course, uh, your company standard maybe, and I'm I'm mostly sure that it's different from mine. So you must uh, you, you don't have to do it uh, the same. I, as you can see, I um, I'm uh, putting the names in uh, Bulgarian. Of course, you can change it. You can change the order in Bulgaria. Uh, the names of the columns are uh, uh, on the bo of the bottom of the uh, part list. It starts from one to two from the bottom up. You can always add additional columns. Let's say material. Of course, as you know, uh, there are different types of part materials. So you can um, your yours can be different. Uh, there are with for every column of course this width is not uh, permanent you can always change it uh, may, uh, manually on the on the sheet right some of the changes uh, are already applied when you, you press apply ok but some of them are not so you just have to create uh, when you uh, I off I suggest you to uh, to uh, let's say uh, when you set the options of your uh, bill of part list uh, the width the columns names and so so on and so on just um, uh, 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 show them uh, write them and after that create the part list the the, the part list so uh, so because some of the changes will will not uh, will not uh, occur when you create uh, when you make them in the, in the style editor. As you can see, I change the name material from Latin to Bulgarian, but it does not showing in the part list. The good thing is, of course, that you can create this only once, and you can use it for all of your drawings after that. So just once, save it as a template, and use it after that in your in your drawings. Or you can use, uh, okay, or some of your colleagues can do this for you, and um, share it amongst uh, the other people. It's it's the same. So the the settings I'm I'm doing right right here, you can always um, uh, you can always do them once and use them after that. Of course, if you want, I will I can sh I can send you mine also. As you can see, my. Uh, my table right uh, the the place where I draw my name or the detail is is different from the ones that um, uh, is in the in of course in inventor because I as, as I told you I have a different uh, 
different type of uh, we have different type of standard so next thing is we will put some uh, balloons or uh, balloons or uh, in Bulgarian we say positions of our parts I'll put some uh, of these positions we are using this type of uh, uh, leaders, let, leaders let's say this one of course inventor is hiding the is hiding the, the details or the assemblies that are not shown and of course it is um, uh, inventor is filtering the details in the in the other um, uh, views that are not uh, uh, that uh, that I have already been uh, uh, positioned that, that I already have balloons so I can see the number three position is not represented on the left view it's only on the right of course uh, it, it, it's better here to create balloon in uh, position or put positions in the uh, in the isometric view that's not very uh, not very important right now okay so uh, th this part here is the mass of our detail in Bulgarian it's massa uh, our detail here uh, our assembly here uh, I go to the assembly right click I properties physical properties and then press uh, the update button of course as you can see it's not um, uh, a constant uh, material so it does not showing the materials if you want to inventor to do this automatically or you want to update physical properties on safe you just go to application options tools application options and put these sticks right here so there is the mass of course maybe I have to uh, change the um, uh, height of the <coughs> uh, letters okay so that's it for tube and pipe design I hope you like them if you have questions or you want uh, uh, sample uh, files you can always uh, uh, ask me send me email or uh, whatever you you want to try like us on Facebook uh, and I hope you enjoy this lesson